Hello, everybody. Ray Pedraza from the McAllen Cable Network here with a special guest from UTPA, Edna Zambrano. She's here to talk to us about the Distinguished Speaker Series, and uh, you've got an awesome uh, speaker coming up, right, Edna? Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, we do have our second speaker this year in our Distinguished Speaker Series. We're excited to welcome Thomas Friedman. He will be at UTPA on Wednesday, February 29th, coming up pretty soon. And he is the international affairs columnist uh, for the New York Times. All right, and, and some people out there may be familiar with his work. He had a, a, a popular book, uh, mm -hmm. actually two popular books. Uh, tell us a little bit about him. Absolutely. Most people will probably remember him uh, writing The World is Flat, uh, which talked a lot about globalization, kind of America's position in the world, and a lot of other topics. Uh, and his most recent book that he's going to be talking about when he comes to UTPA is called That Used to Be Us. And it, uh, in the book, he talks a lot about kind of the issues that our country has faced in terms of globalization, uh, the revolution of information technology, kind of our place in that, and our energy consumption. His previous book that followed The World is Flat uh, talked a lot about uh, America and our consumption of resources and energy and uh, it was very interesting to hear how economically that has impacted the country. So he'll talk a little bit about that as well uh, when he's with us. All right. Now, this, uh, this is going to be on what day and at what time? Sure. It's on Wednesday, February 29th. It will be at the UTPA Fine Arts Auditorium. We open the doors at 7 for our UTPA students, faculty, staff. And then at 7.20, we invite the community to take any remaining seats, and it's absolutely free. Wow. You just had Maya Angelou, which was a huge hit. Yes, she was with us in October and uh, we've this is the eighth season or the eighth year of our series and she broke all of our attendance records. The response was overwhelming. Uh, our students are still talking about it. She nice. was she was amazing and uh, we're really excited about this year's series. I think that our students are, are going to really make this one a memorable one. It, it, it's amazing some of the people that you guys have, have landed. You also have uh, other speakers after Thomas Friedman. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Larry King from yes. the famous Larry King Live. Yeah, Larry King will be with us on Tuesday, April 3rd, and that will also be free at the Fine Arts Auditorium. There's lots of information on our UTPA website, so at any time, if your viewers want to log on, they can get the information. But Larry will be our last speaker on April 3rd, and I know our students are really excited about that. You're talking about a very historical figure in the media and somebody who's met everybody and talked yes. to everybody. And uh, our students are really just interested in hearing what he has to say, kind of his take on, you know, people he's interviewed and, and some maybe now his reaction to stories now that he's kind of away from the spotlight. So I think it'll be really fun. Will there be an opportunity for Q&A for people who, who make it to his talk? Yes, absolutely. At both uh, all of our speakers, we try to make time at the end for a Q&A. And so the community, our students are allowed to go up and ask a question. And honestly, that's the part that I look forward to the most because you never know what somebody's going to ask or how they're going to answer the question. It makes for really a really fun conversation. So we always look forward to that and we do our best to make sure our, our speakers do that for us. Okay, very nice. So oh, so once again, Thomas Friedman, the next speaker, mm -hmm. and he's on what day again? He will be here on Wednesday, February 29th at okay. the student, I'm sorry, at the Fine Arts Auditorium. All right, and this is uh, free to everyone? Free to everybody. You do not need tickets. You don't need to reserve a seat. You don't need to call us. Just meet us there. We'll open the doors to the community at 720. Now, if for some reason uh, you cannot make it out, if you can't attend, um, or if you're afraid that maybe you're going to drive out there and you don't get a seat, you can always watch it from home. We stream these on the web at utpa.edu slash live, okay. and you can just log on and watch those as they're happening. So you can probably start the feed around 7.15 and the program starts at 7.30. So if somebody can't make it, please feel free to watch it online. Very nice. Now, if somebody would like more information, they can go to the UTPA website. Is there a phone number they can call? Sure. They can call our office, the student union, the number 665-7989. We're happy to answer any questions that you may have. The Distinguished Speaker Series also has a Facebook page. So if you just look up UTPA Distinguished Speaker Series on Facebook, you can get our, uh, like our page and get, uh, stream, you know, get information from the series all the time. Wow. Well, we mm -hmm. certainly applaud you on the caliber of speakers that you guys have had because you've got, you guys have had some yes. big names. 
We're very excited. Also, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to put out a survey that actually the community is welcome to answer. And we'll put that on the UTPA website. So if anybody in the community is interested in suggesting speakers, we would love for them to take the survey. So just in the next couple of weeks, have them log on to our UTPA website and you'll be able to see the survey. We love to get suggestions. I'm going to put you on the spot. What speaker would you like to see? <laughs> well, we have invited uh, Jimmy Carter in previous years and, and it, it's not been able to work out because of his schedule. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely somebody that's been on our list for a very, very long time. Uh, that we would be very excited to. And former presidents are always really exciting. Uh, former vice presidents, even Al Gore, I know our students are always really interested in him. His name comes up. And then, of course, presidential election time, you know, comes around. So some of the candidates will probably be on our list um, next year. Maybe even the ones that didn't get elected president <laughs> will probably be on there. So it'll be a fun year for the series, I'm sure. Very good. Anything we're leaving out? Uh, no, just call us 665-789 if you have any questions. If not, we'll see you there on February 29th. Very good. We'll look forward to it. Thank Edna you. Sombrano, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Thanks. All right. And we thank you for watching. I'm Ray Pedras, and this is the McAllen Cable Network.